The small creature chatters excitedly and hops from one foot to the other. Gesturing wildly around the bridge, they point towards the control panel of their freighter. They seem to be suggesting that I take control. Inspect the freighter. Okay, this is a Class B freighter with 18 slots. It's worth 13 million. I don't think that's a bad freighter for us to start with. And it's very cool looking too. So you know what? Let's do it. Why not, right? I wasn't expecting to get this before we made it to the anomaly, but hey, you know what? <laughs> Look at the view out the side the window. That is so neat. <laughs> All right. We've got ourselves a freighter, guys. And welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to hopefully find the anomaly. I think it's just right around the corner. Before we take off, though, uh, we're going to hop out of the ship here for a second. Um, we're going to hop out of the ship here for a second. <laughs> Good lord. Come on. Come on, game. Come on, game. We're having problems here. All right, hold on. Let me do a... VR is all getting weird on me again. There we go. Let's do a recenter view. Now, there we go. Okay. Um, I want to. We got a couple of animals uh, right in the nearby vicinity, so we might as well scan them and get the nanites from them. And since we may not be coming back to this place again. Oh, wait a minute, though. What is that? If that is um, burial sites or. Te or uh, Oh, come on, man. Will you just... This is so frustrating. It won't pick those up. Okay. Uh, but those could be valuable, like burial sites, or they could be... Uh, salvage. Okay, so we got him scanned. It is, okay, that's salvage. Okay. You know what we should probably do? Is go check one of those out. While we're here... I saw another, yeah, there's a, like a deer kind of animal over there. And then we still have some other type of animal right over the hill here. Look at you, you little feller. Wow, look at that thing. Trippy, man, trippy. Okay, so... Let's see, this burials our salvage site, which I can't get my thing to lock on. All right, let's try one of these again. I need to get it marked before we take off because otherwise I won't be able to, I won't know where the hell to go. There we go, okay. Let's go check that one out real quick. And then we'll do the next part of the quest, which wants us to hop back up into space. And I think, I think then, at that point, it's going to take us to the anomaly. All right. Because it's really important that we get to the anomaly, because there's a lot of, a lot of important things that we need to do there. Um, and it pretty much ends the Awakenings quest line and gets us started on the next major quest. Can we land right here? No, it doesn't want to let me land right there. Okay. Let me land right here. So the deal with these salvage containers is very similar to the bones. Uh, we, we bust it open. But I think in this case, we're also going to get attacked by some drones too. So we've got three cargo slots there. Um, we we got to go do some selling too. Let's move these over to the starship as well. And I do have a couple of slots in my cargo. Um, so maybe what we'll do is we'll move that to the cargo, and we'll move. Uh, what else? What else? Let's move this stack of chromatic metal over to the cargo slots for now. Okay, now we have plenty of space. So let's dig this thing out here. We got the terrain manipulator on. We 
This is my first time actually doing this myself. I've seen other people do it like on YouTube videos, but I haven't done it myself yet. Okay, now we need to switch to our mining beam and take the casings down. And then we got the salvage container. Boom, and we get a rare item, unusual sprockets, approximately 680 years old. This valuable technology scrap is missing its paired component. While this part is still intact, it's completely non-operational. Very cool. Okay, the big question, though, is how much bank do we get for that? And that is 900,038 units and change. Very nice. Okay, so there you have it. That's, that's how we do salvage. That's how we do salvage. And... I want, I'm starting to wonder if the salvage is maybe more valuable than the bones because the purple bones are usually around 300,000. However, with the purple bones, you also get uh, uh, you also get more bones, whereas it looks like we maybe only get one salvage piece in there. Uh, but from everything I've heard, both methods are a really good way to make money. So we've done that. Let's go ahead and go, uh, do the next part of the quest here, which is going to be uh, log... Locate your benefactor. The monolith revealed the strange message in space. Use the galaxy map to search for clues. Okay, here we go. Let's head on back up to space. Get off this nasty, corrosive planet. All right. So... Incoming message. We got a message. Let's check it out. Incoming transmission. Source unknown. Right trigger. You are not Gzit alone. Please identify yourself. I am Gz. Identify yourself. You left me. Gzit. Why did you Gzit? Tell them you don't understand. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd gzit, just like the others. Gzit. Ask about the others. Sure. Whoa. There's no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Okay. Um, it looks like we have... Do we have some freighters in front of us? What are those um, little square things on the uh... oh yeah there are freighters over there nice those fleets are cool looking They're right in the middle of the asteroid field, too. Can we land on that thing? Oh, more freighters just came in. Oh, yeah, we can. Check this out. There's just another fleet's warping in right there. Wow, this is awesome. This hangar is huge, too. Alright, let's hop out and get a save. Um, you know what we're going to do, though? We're going to leave again. <laughs> I'm totally getting sidetracked. We've got to get to the anomaly. But hey, now we've, we can say we've landed on a freighter, which is cool. Okay, let's get back in the ship. We will, we'll be, you know, we'll be day doing the freighters and stuff later on too of course look at that though that is so cool <laughs> it's so uh, it's so enormous in VR too 
It really looks like it's a life-size, ginormous freighter. Very cool. Okay, anyway, let's get back on track here. So it wanted us to go into here and look for, here, let's look, read it again. Uh, base computer archives. Base computer archive available. Oh, okay, I think that's different though. So travel to the stranger's coordinates. Oh, do we have coordinates? Yeah, we do have coordinates, okay. Come on, come on. You know what? I think I think maybe I need to up the sensitivity a little bit because it's just really wonky. Let's set that to five. Alright, how many system conflict detected? Rescue the freighters for a reward. Oh, really? Okay. Um, all right, let's do this. Maybe we're not going to get to the anomaly yet. <laughs> it's going to take forever. Okay, so... Oh, it's not this group. It's this, uh, this group that's having problems. There they are. Okay, now, um, I do know what's going on here, and we have to be really careful that we don't shoot the freighter itself. So we help these guys out, but we can't shoot the freighter. Of course I don't have slots in my ship inventory. Why would I why would I want to have slots in my ship inventory? Okay, so we got more enemies up here. Okay, let's get out away from the freighter a little bit. Peace. Don't want to shoot him while he's next to the freighter. Okay, now we can shoot. Okay, that's it. Alright, look at this freighter. Starship shields at full capacity. Answer the incoming call. Friend. Something friend. This something dum dum geck. Something something. The life form who must be the captain of the freighter looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. In communication. Okay, let's do it. Freighter signal detected. Oh man, I'm getting a little dizzy. <laughs> Just because this thing is so big. Straighten me out. I thought it was, like, guiding me in. Make your way to the bridge and speak to the commander. Are we in? Now we're in. Okay. That was a little weird. Okay. Let's do this. So how do we get to the bridge? Up that way. Gotta find some stairs. There we go. Other than that just a very brief moment that we landed on that freighter earlier. This is the first time I've ever been on one of these. Those doors don't make any noise. Whoa. Wow, this is cool looking. Very cool. 
Hello, Commander Buddy. Okay, Commander Rodmans. Blah blah blah, friend. Sit. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah blah The small creature chatters excitedly and hops from one foot to the other. Gesturing wildly around the bridge, they point towards the control panel of their freighter. They seem to be suggesting that I take control. Inspect the freighter. Okay, this is a Class B freighter with 18 slots. It's worth 13 million. I don't think that's a bad freighter for us to start with. And it's very cool looking too. So you know what? Let's do it. Why not, right? We also get some materials along with it too. Alright, let's do it. Restore points saved. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we now have our very first freighter. Very cool. Captain looks at me happily, almost relieved. Perhaps the burden of command had become too much for them. Right trigger. Their ship and its crew is now at my disposal, as well as command of the freighter support frigates. Salute? Yeah, okay, let me salute. Freighters offer extra inventory storage, which we definitely need. Additional starships can be docked in the freighter's hangar. Command expeditions from the bridge. Construct a base aboard the freighter. Nice. Very cool. I wasn't expecting to get this before we made it to the anomaly, but hey, you know what? <laughs> Look at the view out the side the window. That is so neat. <laughs> All right. We've got ourselves a freighter, guys. Can I take control and drive it? That'd be cool if you could drive your own freighter. Well, the very first thing we're going to use this for is going to be um, for storage. <laughs> um, but there's, there's, you know, we can do missions. We can build a base on here. In fact, you know what? That's what we should do is we should build a base and get storage containers so we can actually store stuff. Um, I'm not, I kind of, I'm not sure how or where you do that at though. Wow, this place is huge, and look at there's more ships in here too. Is there a sales terminal in this place? I wonder. I know you're supposed to be able to build, you know, somewhere in here. I don't know where the actual area is though that you can do that at. We'll have to figure that out. This is really neat though. I gotta tell you, this game is just really cool. I'm so enjoying playing this game. So I don't know, yeah, I don't know where we're supposed to go to build the base itself. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But there's a there's supposed to be an area that we can go and do all that in. Is it back in through here? Yeah, okay, I think it's back in through here. So we we are supposed to be able to make a base, I think, in this room here. Is that harvestable stuff? Atlas pass required. I'll turn the light on. <laughs> Nifty. Nifty, nifty, nifty. Okay. Um... So so, let me look at something here real quick. Okay, so this, these are the freighter parts. Fleet command, rooms. Oh, wow, check that out. That is cool. Okay. Um, freighter room, large room. Curved room, junction. Nifty. Okay. Tech. Storage. This is what I actually would like to do. Okay, so, so this is like freighter storage, right? Needs magnetized ferrite and sodium to build. Can you go further out than this or not? That's a storage unit? That's kind of a weird looking storage unit. All right, well, looks like we're going to have to farm up some magnetized ferrite to do this. But here's what we're going to do in the meanwhile. I want to get all of those 
I want to get all of these nav datas out of my inventory and out of my ship. And we're just going to put them on the freighter for now. So let's transfer that to the freighter. Stuff that we're going to sell, of course, we will do that. So we'll keep that with us. Yeah, so all of this nav data, let's put on the freighter for now. This is really cool. I mean, I, I knew I knew we were going to get one of these, because uh, like I said, I've been watching YouTube videos and stuff, but I just wasn't expecting it to happen quite this soon. Especially not before we've even done the anomaly. And you know, to buy one of these things is big time money, too, so for the game to give us one for free is pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. Okay, so... We don't have any more ships in here at the moment. Is anything coming in? Is that coming in or going out? Coming in. Okay, let's talk to this guy. He's got a... It's a Class A with 31 units. But still a little bit out of our reach, money-wise. Hello, Mr. Geck. The pilot clicks are big to indicate they're open to trading. Okay, let's do that. Sell items to the life form. Okay, so we want to sell... the Limium. Let's just sell the silica powder. Unusual sprockets. I don't know what you're going to do with those, but you are welcome to have them, buddy. Okay, let's switch to our ship inventory. We'll sell the silver, the platinum, the tritium, the herrix, the gold, and that frees us up quite a few slots. Nice. All right, it was a pleasure doing business with you, man. What do you have for? What do you have to buy, by the way? Gecknip. I don't think we need any of that. At least not right now. Okay, cool. All right. So. Now, the deal with this freighter is that we can call it to us um, any time we want to, anywhere. So we don't have to be in the system that it's in, which is pretty damn nice. It's got deeper slots for stuff, too, which is cool. We need I think we need that stuff, you know, for, for building, so I'm just going to leave that on there for now. If we need the, the room later, I'll end up just... Uh, you know, probably selling it and farming it up later, because that's, that's done a lot of stuff. That's easy to get. But we still have six slots here. We have technology slots, too, a freighter hyperdrive. I think these this can be filled up with just one warp fuel. Oh, you know, I wonder if we have to do that, though, first, before we can call it to us. That would certainly make sense. All right, well, I'm going to worry about that later, because I, I want to get to the gosh dang anomaly, man. I'll tell you what, this is nuts. Just too much squirreling. Very important and very lucrative squir squirreling, but squirreling nonetheless, right? <laughs> okay, let's go. Look at our ship. Oh man, this thing is so cool. It's huge. All right. Inspect your, inspect your fleet to the fleet management console. So yeah, a Class B freighter for our first freighter is not bad. Not bad. Later on, you know, as we make more money in the game, we'll... I'm sure we'll upgrade to something bigger and better, but that's not a bad start, I don't think. I'm, I'm not, not displeased with that. Let's get back focused on the quest here. So, we need to go back to Log... Awakenings. Travel to the Stranger's... All right. Well, that's what we were doing when this whole thing went down, wasn't it? So we need to find that marker again. No, I'm not going to communicate with you because you're going to try and take my money. Are they still after us? I think we just maybe barely escaped them, I hope. I have had them chase me down on the planet before. Wow, 
That's a ship. Whoa, really? That's a ship, you guys. I didn't think we were going to um, get to a ship. Because I thought we'd already found the ship. It's a big freighter, too. Alright, let's see what this has to say. Signal beacon open by repairing damaged components. Chromatic metal, sodium nitrate. We're missing one sodium nitrate. Are you kidding me? All right, for goodness sakes. So, um, we're gonna have to make ourselves a, no, not that. Make ourselves a uh, refiner. And we need one metal plating to do that. So let's make a metal plating. And then we'll make the refiner. We need one sodium nitrate. Uh, okay, let's put that back in our suit. Oh, we can put stuff in the freighter from here? Oh man, that's awesome. I guess it didn't occur to me that we could do that. That's awesome. Okay, let's get this thing repaired here. Okay. Distress beacon. Gazit. Gazit. There are no signs of life. There's only the static of a broken communicator. Extract the records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans. An upgrade for my mining beam. Oh, nice. A pulse spitter. Specialist rapid fire weapon attachment to the multi tool. It re redirects multi tool optics to ionized inserted metallic elements. Projectiles are launched in a rapid fire spread. We need to find uh, deuterium to make it though. Okay, cool. That's nice. We got a new blueprint. Now, this ship. Here, let's recharge our radiation. Alright, let's take a look at this ship. Um, ah, there goes the timer. We still haven't made it to the anomaly, you guys. <laughs> Can I access this ship? Yeah. Wait. There we go. This is a Class C ship. Um... It doesn't... There, let's compare it. We have 25 slots. This has two more slots than ours. But it's a Class C. And it would be a pain in the butt to repair all this stuff. And an expensive pain in the butt on top of that. So, yeah, I don't think this is worth our, 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 tr our trouble. Not for two more slots and going down a class. So, yeah, we're going to pass this up. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some, right? What's this need? Five more sodium nitrate. And eh, what the hell, let's do it. Alright, we got 28 nanites. That's okay. 28 nanites, not bad. Alright guys, well, unfortunately we still have not made it to the anomaly. <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to quit telling you that we're gonna make it to the anomaly in this episode, because it just doesn't it's not happening. Good, other good things are happening instead of that, though. So it's not a waste of time. It's just uh, taking a while. So, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up this episode here. And we will try our very best to get to the anomaly in the next episode, hopefully. But I'm, I'm you know, I'm not going to promise that because <laughs> you've seen how things have gone. But like I said, all these distractions, changes, side roads, whatever you want to call it, however you want to look at it, have been well worthwhile for sure. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And also consider uh, sharing out the video on your social media, your discords and whatnot, and commenting. Those things do help the channel. I really appreciate it. Guys, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.